Vikinet Macro Record Basics. Run the Vikinet application and log into the system. Enter the main setup screen by pressing the setup button at the top of the screen. Select your unit, which will be the first on the list, and press the select button. Then enter the macro editor setup by pressing on the macro editor button on the system settings screen. To create a new macro, press the add macro button. Enter the name of the new macro in the macro name field. You may also enter a description for the macro if necessary. Macros can perform automatic functions in the Vikinet system. These functions are the commands listed on the left of the screen. For the record operation, press the record button. Select from the list at the bottom left as many cameras as you want the macro to record. When you finish the selections, enter the duration for this record command. Note, if the macro is only intended to perform this one command indefinitely, select the unlimited checkbox, otherwise that command will run for the selected time interval. Choose the quality at which you want to record the cameras. Remember that quality 1 is the highest quality. All the cameras selected will be given the same quality selected. Select the destination storage location from the list on the bottom right. Your unit is displayed first. If you want the recording to occur on a different site, select it from the list. When complete, press the Apply button. Note, if you want to change any settings for a specific camera in the list, select that camera and press the Edit button. Make your changes and press Apply. The changes you made will only affect the highlighted camera. This can be useful if you want different cameras to be recorded at different frame rates or quality. Add as many commands to this macro as you need. Keep in mind that the commands will run sequentially, starting with the first command. Press Save when finished. The macro will now appear in the list and is ready for use. Remember that macros can be run manually by the user, automatically by scheduler, or be triggered by an alarm.